Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Mr. Means Music. Today, we're going to sing one of my favorite songs. But before we do, I need you all to stand up, because we're going to do our warm-up. Here we go. Whoosh. Other way. Shoulder circles, here we go. One, count with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Arm circles. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five E and a, six E and a, seven E and a, eight E and a. Other way. E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five E and a, six E and a, seven E and a, eight E and up into the right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist. One and two. fun. Now let's see what's next. Great warm-up! Now today's song is one of my favorites. It's called Your Face. And you might know this song, but what you might not know is that the composer's name is Bob McGrath. Remember last week we said that a composer is a person who writes music. Now the words, your face, 
are said in many different languages around the world. In Spanish, we say, tu cara. In French, we say, ton visage. While in Arabic, we say, wajibuka. And in Chinese, we say, nidelien. And in Italian, we say, la tua faccia. Isn't that interesting? Now, before we get to our song, let's take a look at some vocabulary. Get our handy dandy notebook. Find a page here. Here we go. Here you are! This week we have many vocabulary words, but don't worry, most of them are words that you've heard before. We'll just take a look at how to spell them. The first word is face. F-A-C-E. Face. Your face is the front part of your head. We can move it around to show our emotions, or in other words, how we are feeling. Face. The next word is lips, L-I-P-S, lips. Lips are the outside of your mouth. There is a top lip and a bottom lip. We all have two lips. The next word is cheeks, C-H-E-E-K-S, cheeks. Cheeks are the side of our mouths. When I put too much food into my mouth, my cheeks get very big. Cheeks. The next word is nose. N-O-S-E. Nose. Your nose is in the middle of your face. I can breathe through my nose. And sometimes when I'm sick, I sneeze through my nose. Achoo. The next word is teeth. T E E T H. Teeth. Teeth are the white things in our mouths that allow us to chew our food. Teeth. The next word is smile. S M I L E. Smile. A smile is what you do with your mouth and your face when you want to show that you are happy. You can smile while showing your teeth, but you can also smile without showing them. Give it a try. Smile. Our next word is dimples. D-I-M-P-L-E-S. Dimples. Not everyone has dimples. They are small dents in our cheeks. They can usually be seen when we smile. I do not have dimples. Do you? The next part of the face are the eyes. E-Y-E-S. Eyes. Eyes are what we use to see the world. And when we go to sleep, we close our eyes. Our next word is pimples. P-I-M-P-L-E-S. Pimples. These are little bumps that are usually on the face, but they can be on other parts of your body. Some people don't like them and think that it makes them not pretty or handsome, but they are wrong. Because what makes us pretty or handsome is how we treat other people nicely. Pimples. The next word is tongue, T-O-N-G-U-E, tongue. Our tongue is that big muscle inside your mouth that allows you to say things like la la la. We also use it to eat yummy things like ice cream cones. Mmm, tongue. The next word is hair. H-A-I-R, hair. 
Hair is what grows on the top of your head. Some people let their hair grow long, all the way down to their shoulders and further, while some people keep theirs cut short, like Mr. Means, and still others shave all of the hair off of their head. And it's all beautiful. Hair. We're down to the last three words, and the next one is ears. E-A-R-S. Ears. Ears are those flaps on the side of our faces that allows us to hear. Mr. Means's ears also help hold up his glasses. <laughs> ears. The next word is forehead. F-O-R-E-H-E-A-D. Forehead. Now, forehead is a very special word because it means just the front part of the top of your head. When I'm sick, my mom puts her hand on my forehead to see if I'm too warm. Forehead. And our last word for today is chin. C-H-I-N. Chin. Your chin is the bottom part of your face. It's the bottom part of your mouth. And it's also where some men are able to grow hair. And when they do, it's called a beard. Also, the little pigs in the story of the three little pigs would say the phrase, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. And that's our vocabulary for today. Well, now that we've done our vocabulary, I need you to get ready for our song. And we'll do that by putting your finger right here. Let me see you put your finger right here and get ready for the song, your face. Your face, your face, no one has your face. Your face, your face, no one has your face. Lips, no one has your lips. Cheeks, no one has your cheeks. Nose, no one has your nose. Teeth, no one has your teeth. Smile, no one has your smile. Dimples, no one has your dimples. Eyes, no one has your eyes. Pimples, and no one has your pimples. Your face, your face, no one has your face. Your face, your face, no one has your face. Tongue, no one has your tongue. Ah, no one has your hair. Ears, no one has your ears. No one anyway. Forehead. No one has your forehead. Chin. No one has your chin. No one nowhere looks like you unless you have a twin. Looks like you unless you have a twin. Your face. Your face. No one has your face. Your face. Your face. No one has your face. Okay, now let me see a happy face. Let me see a sad face. Let me see a silly face. Let me see a mad face. Let me see a monster face. Let me see a laughing face. Let me see a crying face. Let me see a napping face. Your face, your face. No one has your face. Your face. Your face, no one has your face. Your face, your face, no one has your face. Your face, your face, no one has your face. That really is one of my favorite songs. Now, if you're in grades K or higher, I need you to go back to the lesson and take a look at what your assignment is after this activity. I hope you have a great day, and keep learning and singing music. Goodbye for now, until next time.